contrarian, leave it to contrarian badass Reggie Middleton. She called the housing crash. She called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers and the crisis in the Eurozone banking system. Bitcoin is a decentralized system. Decentralized means it doesn't rely on one person or one entity that controls it. Uh, the banking system is centralized. You take your money, you put it in a bank, and they control it. Okay? Bitcoin is you take your money, you can hold it in your own individual wallet, and you have full control over it. A lot of the bank, a lot of the wallet systems, especially the more popular wallet systems, are centralized wallets. The difference is autonomy versus heteronomy. Everybody understand? No. no. Okay. Because anybody who said they did understand is about to show me what I mean. Tell me what I mean. So, who understands? So, this is a new ground rule. If I say everybody understands, if I don't say anything, but I say something that you can I do, issue a comment that you don't understand, raise your hand. You're learning for free. You're not even paying. Autonomous. Think of auto. Automobile means what? Self. What? Self. Say it again. Self. Self. The ability, uh, the ability to do for self, to operate on its own. Okay? Heteronymous, or heteronomy means, here's a hint, the opposite. What does heteronomy mean? Someone has to work it. Right. Somebody, in other words, you do something under the control or behest of another party. If you have an autonomous currency, you could take uh, some money that I don't know if I have in my pocket. But you take this dollar, you make it autonomous. You have full control over it. This dollar with autonomy is actually worth more to me than a regular dollar. That's heteronomous that you have to get out of the bank. That's my opinion. Does anybody disagree with it? Does anybody agree with it? Okay, so if you have an autonomous dollar, does it make sense to make it? Um, Heteronymous without any compensation. In other words, would you trade this in for a dollar that makes you enslaved to a bank or an exchange with somebody else? No. No. Okay. That's what you're doing if you get Bitcoin and then you turn around and give it to a wallet or a company that keeps it on their servers where you have no control over it. Any company like Coinbase or Circle that asks you to send you their Bitcoin or send you your Bitcoin and they store it on their servers is heteronymous. I mean, I'm sorry, is heteronymous. Now, the reason they do that is because it's convenient. It's very easy to have your Bitcoin stolen. Bitcoin is a bearer instrument. So what am I doing? I'm counting until someone asks me, what does a bearer instrument mean? Otherwise, everybody knows what a bearer instrument is, right? So why am I up to 16 and nobody asks? What is a bearer? 18, 19, okay, oh, thank you. A bearer instrument means you're bearing, you own it, you have it, okay? Now, who has a dollar that was in my hand? Sure. Who now owns that dollar? Sharika. I just said I own it, right? Yeah. Theoretically, I do own it, but who has it? Sharika. Would you rather be me or Sharika? Sharika. Very simple lesson, okay? Yes. So. Is that transition is that similar to the Swedish the the Swedish bank right the Swiss bank right mm -hmm. because Swiss banks I know that you cannot even though you put money into it that doesn't mean you could physically take out the money from them right because if you put your money into a bank account right that means that you think that you own your money right but you don't so is that the same transition the way bank accounts work if you put your money in the bank account mm -hmm. so I walk up on the camera can you make sure that I'm in the camera all the time. Am I still in or am I, is my head cut off? Your head's cut off. And it's on blinking white. It's on blinking white? It, it's How half of his Oh, yeah. I broke it. I broke it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, um, if I cut my head off, just lift it up, okay? Okay. 
The, um, the way bank accounts work, and this is very important, I can guarantee you nobody in the school knows this. I'm going to tell you something that nobody in the school knows, regardless of the age. Bank accounts are loans. So if you take your dollars, suppose you work all summer. Um, you did better than minimum wage. You saved up, say, $2,000. Okay? You put it into the bank. You go to Citibank. You put money into the bank. You save it all. Now my money's in Citibank. I'm saving it. I have these assets there. Would that be an accurate statement? No. Why not? Because you just said bank accounts are loans. Okay. I said that. Does that mean it's true? No. Okay. So what are bank accounts? Bank accounts are the things where you put your money that you earn or the money that you have physically given to the bank for security. Okay, so when you give it to the bank, what happens to it? The bank loan it out to um, other people. Right. So is it your money that they're loaning out? Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's the bank's money. Well, they own it right now. Who owns the money? Who owns the money in your bank? The bank owns it now. Because you get the money to the bank. Right. You know what you mean? Put your money in a bank account, you're giving them a short term loan. In exchange, they're giving you an IOU. Basically, we promise to give this money back on demand if you ask for it. That's why bank accounts are also called demand accounts, demand deposit accounts. Most people think they give their money to the bank and that's their money in the bank. Sound like that, please? So, when you, any, any money you give into the bank, you lose control, you lose possession of it, and you lose custody of it. Okay? Theoretically, you lose control of it because you don't you have control over what you have control of is the IOU to demand it back. The money is gone. The money sits now on the bank's balance sheet. So it's the statement that has what the bank is worth and its assets and its liabilities, that's your money on there. And it's not, that money's not on your assets, assets uh, balance sheet. What is on your balance sheet is basically an IOU to demand that money back from the bank. So when you put your money into a bank, you give up control and possession of it. And that bank does something stupid, like bets on his or her new sneaker company and puts all this money on her new sneaker company. And she goes out of business because she doesn't know anything about sneakers. And the bank goes bust. What happens to the money? It's lost. It's gone. You have an IOU, but you're asking the bank to pay you back that doesn't have any money. So there are special insurance schemes that promise to pay you back up to $100,000 or $250,000. After that, you take a full loss on We were thinking we could like do on Bitcoin, a stock on Bitcoin, we could put money there because since it's us every single day, so it's gonna be a pass for us. Like that's the level you can use. But if it goes down, no, on Bitcoin, it's still gonna go up because like it's gonna be the next currency. That's not what I mean. You can predict it, but it's very hard. So for us, so but it's gonna be the Bitcoin. Since not last year, it's risky. No, but since not now, people are using Bitcoin right now. So that's why we have the leverage right now because the more people use it, the more the stock is going to go up and down. Okay, so what we have now? Did we make any progress? Yes, we did. Oh, should, I, should I name these groups? You know, the Dominators, the World Moguls, Straight Money, and. No. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to. Uh, MRW. MRW. Men run the world, right? Well, then prove otherwise when I get to you, okay? Okay. Okay. Talk to me now. Talk to me. We are a retail. Okay. It's a lot of, a lot of competition from these men. Okay. Okay. We You're going to prove. Retail company with our own private manufacturer. And we're looking to sell um, our clothing through our website that we have made. You have the website made already? We are in the making, in the process of making our website. So with this website, we're gonna have those that don't have keep the energy up. Don't don't fade. You're doing well. I'll keep so going. those that have the website, like have our information, they're gonna buy clothes from us, and those that have bitcoins will be able to purchase. Machine. Okay. With, with each bitcoin purchase, we are guaranteed. Okay, stop, stop, stop. We still have to sell. How do they get the bitcoin? Right. Explain how you're going to get 
the manufacturing. You said your own manufactured product. Yes. You're gonna let you're gonna let these two young ladies pick up that. So is in the sewing club. Speak up. Shavika, my pair is in the sewing club. Right there? Yes. Okay. So she said that she could get us help to like get She said help. like like you got ten push ups coming. Go ahead. I'm counting. She says that she'll get us help in getting some of the merchandise. Explain that while she's doing her push ups. I can't do push ups. Yeah, you could try. I can do that. No. I can't do push ups. You can try. Go ahead, Dow. One, that's one. Two ladies say you can't, you already did it. Two, butt up in the air. Three.